because I'm currently busy in adding new chapters to my series on physical computing and the laser engraver is a nice machine to talk about the software basics of machine control. Since I am an advocate of the open source philosophy, the Laser Master 2 Pro fits very well into my concept because the firmware is based on Garble, which makes it easy to write own programs to control the laser engraver. The manufacturer Autor also respects the GPL license of Garble and publishes the modified source code. That's exactly how it should be, but not all manufacturers follow that rule. I have received an early version of the source code of the firmware for the brand new Laser Master 2 Pro by email, Auto will publish the sources as soon as the stable version is available. In a first step I wrote two Python scripts that can process bitmap or scalable vector graphics. Here one of them runs on an old Raspberry Pi 1 model B+, which is connected to the Laser Master via USB. If you install a web server on the Raspberry Pi, the machine can be controlled remotely via a browser. As soon as the graphic is selected, the Raspberry Pi sends the G-code commands to Garble, which generates the control pulses for the stepper motors of the Laser Master 2 Pro. Let's take a closer look at this laser engraver. The device is delivered as a largely pre-assembled kit and all parts are shipped in a well padded transport box. A printed assembly instruction is included, the electronic version is available as download. Building the mechanics was done quickly as all core components ship pre-assembled. There are many high resolution photos of the device on my website which can help to eliminate remaining questions during the assembly. Basically, all that has to be done is to assemble the frame that is composed of 20x20mm extruded aluminum... ...and to do the wiring of the electronic components, which is also done quickly, thanks to the reverse polarity protected plugs. One stepper motor moves the laser along the X-axis via a timing belt. And a second stepper motor is used for the movement along the Y axis. This is driven on two sides via timing belts, a long round rod connects the two pulleys so that no third stepper motor is required. Both axes are guided by plastic rollers with ball bearings that can be adjusted via eccentric nuts. If everything is set up and adjusted correctly, you get a really sturdy mechanics that is largely free from backlash, I am impressed by the simplicity of the construction. The working area of the engraver is 40x40cm. The control electronics is housed in a metal box on the front of the device. The main board is populated with a CKS32F microcontroller which runs Garble as well as two stepper motor drivers type HR4988. Data is transferred to the circuit board via an USB interface, an external controller for manually moving the two axes, which is available as an extra, can be connected to the second socket. Two push buttons on the front can be used to turn the laser engraver on or to reset the firmware. There is an emergency stop switch on the top of the metal box, a very useful safety feature. A buzzer emits an alarm tone if the built in flame sensor is triggered. The heart of a laser engraver is of course the laser module. This is available with different power levels, my version has an output power of 5500mW. The input power is 20W, so that most of the electric power is transformed into heat, which is dissipated via an aluminum heatsink with an attached cooling fan. As protection against the high energy laser light, there is a transparent orange colored plastic cover on the bottom of the laser head, but even with that, you must wear protective goggles when working with lasers. 
In a second care package from Auto there was a metal box that is available as an extra and which encloses the laser engraver. This box fulfills several protective functions. First, the laser light is completely shielded when the lid is closed. Two orange colored plastic windows allow a safe view into the box. The machine engraves workpieces by evaporating or carbonizing the material, both of which cause harmful vapors to be produced. The vapors are directed via a fan on the back of the box and a flexible tube on the outside. The third protective function of the box is that in the worst case the material to be engraved can catch fire and the metal box prevents the flames from spreading to your workshop. Yes, a laser engraver is definitely no toy for the kids. With that in mind it is forgivable that the engraver is not switched off when the lid is opened. The additional protection attached to the laser head also prevents a direct view into the laser beam. In the hands of an experienced craftsman, the Auto Laser Master is definitely a very versatile tool. As shown here, the laser can be used to transfer graphics onto wood. The Python script processes a bitmap graphic line by line and uses the laser to burn a black dot on the surface where there is a dark pixel in the template. Here I have adjusted the grid to a distance of 0.25mm between two dots, which results in a pixel density of around 100 dpi. The laser head has a fixed focus, the height of the unit has to be adjusted for focusing. The focusing tool included in the package is a cylindrical spacer that must fit between the workpiece and the lower edge of the laser module. The parameters to be set in the software are the laser power and the burn time. Too much of both result in two white, smeared dots and so in a blurred graphic, not enough of both and the material is not carbonized and so nothing can be seen. As with all machinery, you must build up some experience by doing your own experiments to get good results. I'm still writing on the Python script for controlling the laser master, currently the software is processing the lines only in one direction, there is still plenty of potential for optimization. With the dimensions 28x39cm, the graphic occupies almost the entire work area of the Auto Laser Master 2 Pro and is finished after about 18 hours. I have used just 30% of the maximum power of the laser module for the engraving, if you set the laser power to a higher value, the time is reduced accordingly. With optimized software on top, the time span can be shortened to around 4 hours, processing 1.7 million pixels and burning 740,000 dots takes some time. I really like the quality of the result, the graphic was precisely transferred to the plywood sheet. If you operate the laser engraver outdoors or in your garage because of the smell of the vaporized material, the laser master with the connected Raspberry Pi as a web server can be conveniently controlled via VLAN. Here I use my smartphone to select and transfer the graphic, to align the workpiece, And finally to start the engraving process. Graphics can be engraved directly on all materials that the laser can carbonize or vaporize, shown here with synthetic leather. While the smell of burnt wood might be tolerable, burnt synthetic leather smells horrible and only thanks to the metal box with the integrated fume hood, the material can be processed in my video studio. Even after the engraving is finished, it is a good advice to put the synthetical leather outdoors for a few hours. If a material cannot be vaporized directly, a bit of paint can help. 
in order to prevent the laser from penetrating the transparent plastic with almost no effect, a layer of paint is applied to the surface. The laser burns the paint and the resulting heat is transferred to the surface of the plastic by what parts of that material are also removed. The paint must absorb the laser light which works best with black color, however the red color used here works as well. Here I have applied the paint on the bottom side of the plastic, the laser does not leave any traces on the top side. The engraved workpiece demonstrates that the Laser Master 2 Pro can engrave very fine lines. With the paint applied evenly on the back side, the lettering can be read clearly while the plastics on the front side protects the paint from scratches. I wiped off the paint on the right which shows that the laser has removed parts of the plastic, the lettering is also visible without the paint. If you can carbonize or vaporize material with the laser, you can also cut through it. That's what I am now demonstrating with this piece of 1mm plywood. Cutting material with the help of a laser is a chapter on its own and I will demonstrate how and why to add air assist in another video. For this quick experiment I have adjusted the laser to 60% of the maximum power and the cutting speed to 10mm per second, with which the plywood is completely cut after 3.5 passes. Adhesive film can be cut very well with the unmodified device and only a low laser power is required. With lettering in particular, it is easier not to work through the graphics line by line, but rather to move with the laser beam along the edges. This results in significantly smoother edges. This Python script also is in a very early stage, however it already works with simple vector graphics. If the machine parameters are set correctly, only the top layer of the adhesive film is cut while the carrier material remains intact. You can create your own stickers and letterings. The negative can be used as a stencil for painting. With a strip of adhesive tape, the lettering can be transferred in one pass from the carrier material to the target surface. Metal surfaces can be machined indirectly with the laser engraver. Here I have sprayed a layer of black paint on a piece of aluminum square tube, which is now removed with the laser. Aluminum is a good heat conductor so that a high burn time is needed to vaporize the paint. Caustic soda is now applied to the surface which dissolves the aluminum. After a few minutes of reaction time... ...and after washing off the lye, the etched areas are clearly visible, looks nice. If the remaining paint is removed with a solvent, the etched lettering can be clearly red. The Auto Laser Master 2 Pro can only engrave flat workpieces, as the laser beam can only be focused on one plane. With the help of an additional module that is available as an extra, cylindrical objects can also be engraved. According to the instructions, the frame of the laser engraver should be lined with blocks so that the laser beam can be focused on the workpiece. If the machine is operated in the safety box, that doesn't work. I have used a 3D printer to create a special mount that sets the laser head to a higher position. Instead of the motor of the Y axis, the motor of the small lathe is connected to the control electronics. 
To do this, the machine must be switched off beforehand, as the motor drivers tend to emit magic blue smoke if the wiring is disconnected while the motor is energized. With the lathe you can for example create individually designed cans. What else can be done with the Auto Laser Master 2 Pro is shown on my website. There you will also find high resolution photos of the examples made in this video as well as further information about the engraver. The scripts I've written can also be downloaded from my website and many chapters on physical computing explain in detail how motors and so machines can be controlled by software. With the laser engraver as a starting point, I would like to explain more systematically how you can write the programs that transform ideas into something you can touch with the help of CNC machines. If you would like to support me financially in the expansion of that series, you are welcome to click the donate button on my website. Many thanks to all the great people who have already made use of it. Also many thanks to Otto, who gave me the LaserMaster 2 Pro including the accessories 